The Honorable Mike Pence, Governor of Indiana. The Honorable Anthony Copeland, Mayor of East Chicago, Indiana. The Honorable Victor Smith, Indiana State Commerce Secretary. Councilmen, Lake County officials, Chamber officials. Chief Executive Officer Brett Wood, Toyota Material Handling. Valued customers, distinguished suppliers, friends, family, and guests. Welcome to Hoist Lift Truck. Our East Chicago manufacturing facility represents a best-in-class facility that soon will employ over 500 skilled labor here in East Chicago, Indiana. Our motto at Hoist is building big trucks. We're building big trucks in East Chicago, Indiana, effective today. As many of you know, it's March Madness. One of the greatest coaches in college history is John Wooden. John Wooden was born and raised right here in Indiana. He had a saying, if you do a little bit every day to make things better, you can go a long way. Our first distinguished guest, Mr. Marty Flaska, took, really internalized this concept when he started a wholesale forklift business out of his home in the early 1980s. Soon in the early 90s, Marty was able to acquire the cushion tire business from Silent Hoist and Crane and moved it back to Chicago. At that time, Many industry experts says, there's no way you're gonna be able to take an old dormant company like Silent Hoist and compete with the established players in the field. Marty said, yes we can. We will compete and we did. Recently when Marty was searching with his family for the best place to relocate our business to handle the tremendous amount of expansion that we've experienced, we settled in on East Chicago, Indiana. Again, Many experts says, you can't manufacture anything, anything anymore in America. Marty simply had one thing to say, we will manufacture, and we're gonna manufacture big trucks in East Chicago, Indiana. At this time, it's my pleasure to please bring up Hoist founder and, and, and CEO, excuse me, uh, Marty Flaska, and I'd also like to invite up to the stage Dan Casso, our CFO, as well as Vincent Flaska. Thank you all for coming. I want to expend a, extend a special thanks to Governor Pence, Victor Smith, Jim Statton, the Indiana Regional, Rec uh, Regional Development Authority, Lake County, and Mayor Copeland. Two goals in moving our factory were first to build a world-class facility that would give us single-piece continuous flow. We came from a factory that was a bunch of different buildings collectively that totaled a facility this size. It became increasingly difficult to get product to flow through that facility. At this facility, we bring in raw steel, we ship a finished forklift, and it moves one direction. The second was to be in a location where we had access to labor, fair property taxes, fair worker compensation laws, and skilled labor. I came from a high school that had welding, machining. That high school closed all those things down in Naperville. This community has Ivy Tech and at Ivy Tech they teach all those skills. So this is a market where if we need 500 more workers, we can recruit those workers and get them to come to work in this facility. The cost of living, very important. Sales tax in Illinois at over 10%. My employees, those that are starting to move now, are realizing the money they can save moving to Northwest Indiana and take home pay. Worker comp, you'll hear me say it many times, by design, it's corrupt. The law has to change in Illinois. It doesn't work. 95% of our worker comp cases are fraudulent. Big expense to our company. Some years, three million. So we employ, you'll see today as we do the tours, we go from raw steel plate 
to a finished forklift. So every single discipline required to build the truck happens in this facility. We don't generate any sales tax that seems to be important to the community we move from, but we have high paying middle class jobs. Average pay in our factory is about 55,000 with overtime. We have some welders that'll earn $80,000. We probably have some folks that are below that 55,000 range. But the important part about that is that those jobs allow them to buy a new car, to buy a house, put their kids through school. That's important. The community we came from started out that way, but it didn't end that way. Our workers got priced right out of the market. The, the townhomes across from our factory are $300,000 starting price. That type worker can't afford $300,000. And when he stretches it to $200,000, he winds up losing his home, consuming all of his take-home pay. We're excited to be here. At the end of the day, our partnership with East Chicago, Lake County, and the state of Indiana has offered us absolutely the best place to locate our business. Hi, my name is Vincent Flaska. I just want to give a special thanks to the IEDC, especially Jim Stanton, Victor Smith, Devin Hildson Smith, and Chantel Anderson. Uh, they did a lot of work. We had a lot of sleepless nights, and uh, they're really the ones who got this done. And also East Chicago, they have a great team. Weena Guzman, Milton Reed, JR, and Mary Anthony Copeland. Thanks, guys. I want to thank the state of Indiana, Lake County, and the city of East Chicago for being our financial partners and making this program and this building and all of these jobs possible. When Marty and Vince brought this to my attention that we were going to do this, I had sleepless nights too. I was concerned about how we were going to pay for it, but those three entities, along with the financial partners we have with a number of banks from Chicago and Northwest Indiana that have helped us make this possible. We want to thank all of you for being here today and supporting us as we've made this journey. Thank you. Thank you, Marty, Dan, and Vince. Well, as you all know, it's an election year, and many people out there today are saying, if you elect me, here's all the things I can do. Many of those people would have a very tough time competing with our next guest, the Honorable Mike Pence. Under his leadership in 2015 alone, 300 companies made the decision to relocate to Indiana. Those 300 companies created 26,000 jobs right here in Indiana. Those jobs equate to an investment of $4.7 billion, billion with a B, under the leadership of the governor. When Hoyt started doing its due diligence, it quickly became apparent the place for us to be is Indiana, and Governor again proved why this is one of the fastest growing states for businesses that are relocating. It is my honor to please introduce the Honorable Governor Mike Pence. Thank you, Stu. Thank you, Stu. Thank you, Marty. Thank you, Vince. And uh, it is a, this is a great day for East Chicago. This is a great day for the region. And this is a great day for the state of Indiana as we welcome Hoist Lift Truck to East Chicago. Uh, Marty, we thank you. Thank you for uh, embracing the state of Indiana with such vigor. Uh, thank you for recognizing uh, the, the pro-business and pro-worker climate that we've created here in the Hoosier State. With this announcement of 500 new jobs by the end of 2022 that pay above the state average and above the Lake County average, by your company's decision, you are bringing one of the largest big truck material handling manufacturing plants in North America right here to East Chicago in the Hoosier State, the heart of the heartland. And we couldn't be more grateful. The truth of the matter is, though, is that you're, you're joining manufacturing interests from across the state who have made Indiana literally uh, the home to the second most manufacturing jobs in the United States since 2009. 
I'm proud to say in Indiana for now 200 years, we've done two things especially well. We make things and we grow things. And today, with this investment uh, by Hoist Lift Truck, uh, you're joining a chorus that, that makes it true that Indiana has the highest concentration of manufacturing jobs in the United States of America. And we're proud of it. There's a lot of people to thank on a day like today. Marty Flaska, thank you, thank you. Thank you for having your sons go to Indiana University. They're Hoosiers. Marty, thank you for, for taking a look across the border and seeing the opportunities here in East Chicago, seeing the extraordinary potential of this historic community and for believing in the people of East Chicago and the people of Lake County. Uh, Marty Flasco, we are truly grateful for your vote of confidence in the state of Indiana. We also want to, I'm, I'm proud of our team at the Indiana Economic Development Corporation, our Secretary of Commerce and, and Jim Staten and others who worked hard in partnership with East Chicago to help bring this about. But I also want to say how grateful we are uh, for the tenacious and compassionate and pro-growth leadership of the mayor of East Chicago, Anthony Copeland. Mayor, thank you so much for your strong partnership. But at the end of the day, on days like today, I'm always reminded why businesses are coming to Indiana, why businesses are growing in Indiana, why we have the lowest unemployment rate of any state around us why we've seen nearly 140,000 net new jobs created by businesses large and small. Uh, the credit certainly goes to people that make the decisions. And those of us that play a supporting role are humbled to be able to do that. But I want all of you to know, uh, most of the credit goes to the people of this great company and to the people of Indiana that are already a part of Hoist Lift Truck today. 350 strong already working here. 500 jobs by 2022, and as I told Marty backstage, that's what we call a good start here in the Hoosier State. The credit goes to the people of Indiana, because when companies choose to come here, when companies choose to grow here, it's a statement about their confidence in the work ethic, in the integrity, in the craftsmanship, and in the commitment to community that characterizes the people of Indiana. So as we congratulate one another, let me say to each one of you, especially the ones in the blue shirts, congratulations for making this day such a great day for Indiana. This victory belongs to you. Thank you, Governor. Our next guest that I'd like to bring up is, is Mayor Copeland. Mayor Copeland has a long history of community activism and fairness. Uh, Mayor Copeland also knows that the true driver to putting East Chicago back as a manufacturing hub for Northwestern, Northwest Indiana is bringing in high quality manufacturing jobs. And there was no one more important and part of this team effort than Mayor Copeland. And we're, I'm very pleased to introduce the Honorable Anthony Copeland. Stu, you said a billion with a B? A billion with a B. A sir. billion with a B. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm humbly proud to say that East Chicago has gotten its share of that billion with a B. Um, I wanted to start off with some thank yous, but I'm, I'm going to flip this script and do the thank yous on the end. Um, when I broke the plane of this door and I walked and I started mingling with this sea of beautiful people I see out here, I start encountering my neighbors who a couple years ago that was unemployed. I start encountering friends that a couple years ago they were unemployed. And I um, was rubbing Marty upstairs about how dusty it was in here because I found my eyes start watering up because it's just so dusty in here. No. They started watering up and I got misty because a few months ago they were unemployed. Now I see them walking around here.
proud almost to the point of levitating. That is what employment will do. It rises up the spirit and it's contagious. And I saw their pride and it oozed into my pores and it caused me to levitate. It, it's just, it's just infectious like that. So um, I just simply want to share that testimony with you that sometime when you start off and you have a dream and sometime your dream can be so big and when you go to share it with people, they get dwarfed in your dream and they can't see it, but it's all contained in your head. And when we started off in this administration, we wanted to tie everything into the quality of life, improving the quality of life, let it be housing. We put our money where our mouth uh, was and gave incentive for housing to do job creation. We've done all those things. And now, just like I was sharing upstairs, just like that kid in that classroom connecting those little dots when they gave you that page, now everyone can see the big picture and it is a beautiful picture to see. Uh, let, me, let me close with some thank yous uh, because my staff always remind me that I get caught up in the headlights and I forget to say thank you, but attribute that to my head and not my heart. Um, I would like to say thank you to Marty, Vincent, and the entire Flesca family for selecting East Chicago as the newest manufacturing location. I'd like to thank uh, Jim Statton and the Indiana Economic Development Corporation and the RDA Authority uh, for being, and, and being there for support to the Lake County Indiana Economic Alliance for their partnership with East Chicago. Also, you can say sometimes big eyes, little U's, but in East Chicago we don't have that. Uh, East Chicago is a well-running machine because of two things. Also, I would like to thank the East Chicago elected officials for believing in East Chicago future and our dreams. Over here, will you raise your hand? We got Clerk, we got Myrna Maldonado, we got Mrs. Orange. The council have been instrumental in signing off and being of one accord for bringing in new business. But most of all, I'd like to thank Governor Mike Pence for keeping this deal together from start to finish. There was some rocky moments. Sometimes it's just like giving birth. You know, sometimes it can be painful. But when you need somebody telling you, push, 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 and that's what the governor done. And today you can see we have a beautiful delivery, folks, and look at the beauty of it all. But I would like to close, I would like to close with just saying, East Chicago is on the move in a positive direction, and we look forward with our future growth, what hoist lift. Once again, Marty, to you and your family, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much, Mayor Copeland. I'd now, I'd now like to ask the Governor, Mayor Copeland, and Marty to join us up front. Here, please. Colleen, go ahead and uh, present the plaques. What we have here for you today is a plaque that's uh, documenting the first truck manufactured in East Chicago, Indiana. And, and there's a copy of the data plate that will go with that truck. Thank you very much, gentlemen. So that concludes the formal press conference. What we're gonna do next now is ask some of our distinguished guests and, and uh, Marty with his family to come up and we are gonna have a ribbon cutting up here to officially open our East Chicago facility. So Mayor, uh, Governor, Marty, if you could join us in front.